In our leading story this morning, all eyes will be on Pravin Gordon when he gets up to deliver his budget speech this afternoon. The key focus areas are likely to be government's renewed push towards radical economic transformation and accelerating economic growth. A sugar tax and other personal taxes may be used as the key drivers for the funding of the fiscal. Now, despite warnings that South Africa's investment grade rating still hangs very much in the balance, there's pressure to spend more money on higher education, a proposed nuclear build program, and calls for radical economic transformation. Now, let's take a look at the key challenges for the finance minister. One is to balance radical economic transformation with accelerated growth to initiate structural reforms to overcome a low growth environment, to raise government revenue without a steep hikes in personal taxes and VAT. He also needs to consolidate government spending and contain SOE spending, sustaining the social development and grants programs, and to convince foreign investors and ratings agencies of growth stability. The fuel levy that, 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 he, that he increases either on the uh, well, the increase in the petrol price, yeah. let's speak of, that's actually an indirect, indirect tax. Yeah. An indirect VAT tax. Yeah. Because everybody feels that. Mm. Because with petrol prices increase, your taxi fees go up. Mm. Your bus fees goes up. That's true. So it's actually a way of vetting everyone without having the political backslash of it. Mm. That's why he continues to go down that revenue. And we're most likely going to see big increases from that again. But the ripple effect is that you will then see the higher, higher price increases on inflation. I think there will be more money been set available for um, redistribution of land. Yeah. We know about the Pakisa project where we want to, where government want to revitalize certain of this redistri redistributed land. So I believe maybe there will be money allocated for that. So what are the options before Pravin Gordon to boost revenue? Well, hikes in personal taxes like income tax and capital gains tax. He could increase that to, raise up and to bolster the tax revenue. And higher than inflation adjustments in sin taxes for alcohol and tobacco, he could also hike fuel levies, a carbon tax as well as tyre tax. All eyes are on Finance Minister Pravin Gordon ahead of the budget speech today. The Finance Minister is expected to announce a number of tax increases into alia. This is to boost the country's economy and to raise a 28 billion rands targeted by Treasury. Meanwhile, economists are looking for stability, consistency and incremental change towards a healthier fiscus. ANN 7's Mpomatol has more. Already faced with some challenges to grow the economy and attract more investment in the country, all eyes will be on Finance Minister Pravin Gordon as he said to outline plans for 2017. I think there's about 2 million or less high income earners in South Africa, so as the government might want to increase that, but it won't be enough to cover the kind of revenue that they are, that they are looking for because the tax is quite small. You then have the, the, the sin taxes and, and then the, the fuel levy. We've seen a steady increase. I think, I can't remember the last time that those were not increased. But we are definitely going to see an increase there in order for him to, 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 to try and, 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 and raise the additional 28 billion rands. While South Africa is estimated to have seen 0.4% growth in real gross domestic product, EY Africa tax controversy leader Mangaliso Nzimande says raising value-added tax may prove to be the most suitable way to increase revenue for now. VAT uh, is, is the most effective from, from a treasury perspective in terms of raising the, the, the required amount of revenue and in terms of, of administration as well. But the problem with VAT, VAT is that it's very politically sensitive. Unions are against VAT because they say that it has a regressive effect on the poor. So it's, 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 it's a bit of a hot potato for the minister, if I can say so, because it, while it is the most effective tax for him to raise, it also has its challenges in terms of the, of the, of, of the political sensitivity of VAT. Meanwhile, Democratic Alliance is proposing a comprehensive spending review. That is the only way that we can reprioritize expenditure in order to give hope to the millions of young people who do not have jobs or have given up looking for jobs uh, in South Africa. Whilst Minister Gordon is expected to forecast economic growth around 1.3% this year, 
This is likely to be an optimistic view, with analysts believing that the country can expect more sin taxes this year. Mpamato, ANN7, Johannesburg. It's all systems go for the budget speech. Whilst Finance Minister Pravin Gordon is expected to deliver the speech, predictions are that personal income tax and increases in fuel taxes could be on the cards. The contentious sugar tax on sweetened beverages is also predicted to come into law in this coming financial year. NN7's Lerato Moza has more. The budget speech to be delivered at a time when South Africa is experiencing subdued economic growth is seeing economists looking for stability, consistency and incremental change towards a healthier fiscus. Where we expect uh, uh, the Treasury to explore much uh, from uh, wealthy candidates and of which they have been growing in massive and we believe that uh, from there, from wealth tax is a global uh, phenomenon that like uh, wealth tax uh, comes to be an add uh, to the revenue of uh, the country. Other than that, uh, is revenue uh, management from all government organizations and you will look at uh, uh, SARS to imp improve their core competencies so that they can uh, collect enough tax as expected. With the outlook for 2017 revised by the Reserve Bank to 1.1% from a previous outlook of 1.2%, Finance Minister Pravin Gordon is expected to give a detailed elaboration on commitments made in the State of the Nation address by President Jacob Zuma. The most important thing right now is to build business confidence. <laughs> business confidence will come with, um, I mean, um, f uh, business friendly policy, you know, that can be able to attract investors in, in, in sectors like the manufacturing sector. Remember, the manufacturing sector actually um, came out negative um, a year ago. So, these are the most important sectors that he needs to be focusing on and having investors to be coming into the country. Whilst President Zuma has spoken about radical economic transformation, most experts would like to see how that will be interpreted in the budget speech. Given the number of job seekers declining by 92,000 as indicated in the Labour Force quarterly survey, focus will also be on how growing sectors can be assisted to create more jobs. We need radical economic kind of transformation. We need a lot of young entrepreneurs and small businesses to be inserted into the value chain of production and manufacturing in this country. Something has been done, but not enough. So the key department for me is the small business department. Mm -hmm. So we need a lot of support for Minister Zulu's department. You know, we need small businesses to be trained to access your face, basically your mining sectors, your agricultural sectors, to be more involved in the taking the, the raw products and making them into final products. While there's hope that Minister Gordon will not increase corporate income tax as well as personal tax, anticipation is mounting on how Treasury would gear finances directly to the development of SMMEs, among others. Larato Moza, ANN7.